Welcome back to another episode of RTHD. In this episode, I want to show you guys how to add a chat box to your Twitch stream using Streamlabs OBS. There is an alternative for OBS Studio, but in this video, I'm not going to show you guys how to do the OBS Studio version. If you do want to see that video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll create a video demonstrating how to do it in OBS Studio. But today, as I said, we're going to head over to Streamlabs OBS where we'll add that chat box to Twitch. All right. So what you're seeing here on the screen here is our Streamlabs OBS. And I have a camera only scene with two sources. Uh, but before we actually we are, we, are, we are able to actually add that chat box, what we need to do is set up Twitch on Streamlabs OBS. There's a way to actually do that. And so I want you to have a look at the bottom left corner here. There's, an, there's a gear icon and when you hover over it, it says settings. I want you to click on settings and then another window will appear. And in this window at the bottom left again, you'll see login. And I want you to click on login. Now, when you click on login, what you're going to see here is a few options. So you might actually be able to do this with YouTube, but I, again, have only tested this with Twitch. So let's have a look at it in Twitch. So we click on the Twitch icon, which is going to prompt us to actually log into the Twitch platform. And hopefully if I do this correctly, typing in my password very carefully, I'll be able to log in and show you guys this. I do actually have two-factor authentication enabled, and you should probably do the same thing because a lot of a, a lot of uh, hacking happens or tries to happen on Twitch. People try to hack your Twitch account very easily because it's so super popular, and so um, I I make sure to have these tokens so that only I can log into my account. Okay, so hopefully I type that incorrect. And then there's another screen that comes on and basically asks you for permission and you have to authorize it. So I'm going to authorize OBS, Streamlabs OBS to manage my Twitch account. I'm going to click authorize. And once you do that successfully, it's going to re-log you back in and I'm back again to this, the camera only scene. And this is fine because this is where we want to put our chat. So we want to put our chat maybe our chat box somewhere here all right so onto the right hand side and so i want you to have a look at sources and under sources as you can see i have the logo which is the logo here i have logi which is my logitech camera that's me on the screen here and then you can actually add a new source so i wanted to click on that plus button and while you're in here there's a lot of stuff so just go to widgets and then here, there's a lot of widgets that you can actually add in um, and it connects to your Twitch, uh, your Twitch setup. But in this case, we want to go for the chat box. So click on chat box. It shows you a demonstration of what this will look like. And then you click add source. Okay, so once you do that, and the, I, it seems that I already created a source. So I'm going to make sure and click add new source and I'm going to name it chat box one. Okay. You don't have to do that part if it already if it doesn't already exist. And what will happen is you'll come to this screen. This is the settings for chat box. And as you can see, it's a square version and you see a demonstration of what it looks like. You see, you know, the chat messages coming in. Um, but I don't particularly think that the square version is probably the best version at this point, but it's really up to you. I would like to go with a rectangular shape. So I'm going to adjust the width ever so slightly to 400 instead and now it becomes rectangular and as you can see there's some other options you can adjust here but i don't adjust any of them it's up to you to adjust them if you feel that the need to adjust them um, uh, what i wanted to show you was that this background looks black and so it's easy to assume that this box will appear black but it doesn't and that's great because you see it actually is transparent um, so let's go ahead and let's click done and now you will see we have this uh, rectangle here and it seems transparent, right? There seems to be nothing in it. And that's totally fine. 
uh, because uh, I'll get to that. But as you can see here, under sources, we now have chat box one. So this is your chat box. And basically, when you're live on stream and you and someone sends a message, it's going to pop up here. Uh, to okay, so now we want to demonstrate the chat box and make sure that the chat box works. So I'm going to open up my Chrome browser. And I'm going to head over to Twitch. And I want you to log in into your Twitch account. And to the top right hand side, what you're going to see, you can actually click on it and you should be able to go to create a dashboard. And in here, I want you to go to stream manager, which is on the left hand side. And basically this section is how you manage your stream. And here we can actually test the chat, okay? And I'm gonna to have to do this very quickly in order for you to see it. But we, as I said, we already set up the chat here. So basically, if I send a message here, in this section, my chat, it should appear in the chat section here. So let's see if it works. So I'm gonna send hello there. I'm gonna click chat very quickly. And as you can see, it appears on the bottom right. And so I'm going to simulate a few messages very quickly. Let's see if we'll get to see them appearing. And as you can see, it appears here. And that's pretty much all that you need to do in order for you to get a chat box. And so whenever you're live and people message, you'll actually see it and sh you can display it to others as well too um, on your Twitch stream. So with that being said, I hope that this helps you guys out. Uh, please like and subscribe if it did. And if you have any other questions, if you have any other things that you want me to set up for you and demonstrate setting up for you, I'd be more than happy to do that. So with that being said, thank you so much and see you guys again soon.